I've been waiting for you. Hello, John. John Marston. Do I know you? I hope so. I seem to know you. I'm pretty good at remembering faces. Are you? Do you remember Hattie McCourt's face? Who? She was a girl Dutch Vanderlyn shot in the head on that raid on the ferry a few years back. Same one you got shot on. Pretty girl, until her eye was hanging out by a thread of tendon and her brain was plastered over a wall. Not really. Then why would you remember me, friend? You've forgotten far more important people than me. What's your game, friend? I don't have a game, John. Listen, sometimes I just wish I'd known more about life. Wish I'd had better guidance. A friend of mine is drunk as a skunk in the saloon on Thieves' Landing. I think he's gonna be unfaithful to his dear wife. Why don't you head over there and see if you can advise him how best to proceed? What do you think I am? I know what you are, John. Just if you've got the time, friend. Feeling a little sleepy? Get some winks in, and I'll wake you when we're there. Excuse me, mister. Yeah, what the hell do you want? Look, don't ask how, but I know what you're about to do. You don't want to do this. The hell are you talking about? You know what I'm talking about, mister. I'm just here to say I don't think you should go through with it. Your wife, she loves you. Shit, mister. I don't know who or what you are, but I guess I'm grateful. I guess you're right. I was raised better than this. Don't mention it. Go on now.
in a million pieces. Come on, get in close, you coward. Come in swinging. Thank you. Thank you. Forgive me, amigo. Good lord. What you searching for, partner? I've been gathering some flowers for my wife. She's waiting for me back in the cabin. That's very sweet of you. And we've been together 50 years now, me and my darling Annabelle. She's always loved these, these wild fever few that uh, grow around this place. You know. But she's, she's getting on now in years, and it's hard for her to get up and about. So I want to... I want to bring her a lovely bouquet for our anniversary. I've seen quite a few flowers in my travels, if you'd like to help. Oh, yeah. Listen, these old fingers ain't what they used to be. Yeah, I'd love it. Sure, bring me, bring me any pretty ones you find, huh?
Excuse me, friend. Mind if I rest up at your camp a spell? Well, it'd be my pleasure. Man needs a break from this desiccated land. Thank you, mister. Mm. Say, what's that stick you got there? Oh. Y'all ain't never seen a dowsing rod before, mister? Never seen a man summon the water up from the bare earth? Uh, mister, uh... Marston. Ah. No, can't say I have. Hmm. It's water you're looking for. What's wrong with that lake over there? Oh, there ain't nothing wrong with Lake Don Julio. Nothing wrong with it, but we lack the fancy irrigation equipment you folks have back east. So, man needs a wellspring on his proper tie to ranch here. Makes sense. Yeah. Why, you know, just last week, I was over at Old Pleasant's house. Now, I think I may have found something, but... Old coot that owns the place threatened to call the law down on me, so... People act funny around strange men with sticks. They sure do. Damn fools. Bet you he don't even know how much water's running underneath his proper tie. You want me to tell him? <laughs> you know what? You ain't that stupid, mister. And I can tell. I'll tell you what. Why don't you go get the old man to sell us his proper tie for a small pittance? Then I can find the source of the water, build us a proper wellspring. Maybe I will. Well, all right then. <laughs> Howdy, friend. I didn't know anyone lived out here. Whoa! Now you can't rob the place now, can you? Now get! Friendly old bastard, ain't you? I don't need me no friends, friend. We all need friends, old timer. We die alone, but we live among men. You know, I was interested in moving out this way with my family. Would you be willing to sell me a parcel of land? We wouldn't even have to speak or nothing. Land's too dry for farming. Bandits run all the cattle off. Why you want this land? I guess I just like the scenery. Well, I don't know. Maybe for $200 I could give you the deed to this land, find myself a place up in Blackwater. Although I never could stand the people down there. No, sir. Partner. Take it or leave it. Just give me the deed, old man. I knew you was no good the moment I clapped eyes on you. you back. Not bad. Uh, 
I doubt you'll be needing this. Let's go! You got the deed? Yep. Here it is. Yeah. Oh, there's blood on this deed, Marston. I didn't tell you to kill the poor old man. Here, take the money. That old bastard's got a son living up in Blackwater, so I'd be real careful not to publicize this sale too much. Unless killing entire families is a pleasure of yours, of course. Good luck with the property, McAllister. Yeah. 